Hello everyone, this is Devin. Here to bring you DraftKings NFL DFS picks for week three of the 2022 season. For those new to the Sporty Mouth channel, I'm going to provide seven DFS picks for GPP. The seven DFS picks I provide are not the only option out there. Therefore, if you do not hear an NFL player or DFS pick mentioned in the video, it does not mean they're not in play. I'm going to try to give you this little quick video of the players that I feel will provide you a, a decent chance at helping you win some of your um, contests on DraftKings or FanDuel, wherever you play at. Definitely, as I mentioned, not the only option out there, just what I'm thinking and perhaps maybe we're on the same page perhaps we're you go in another direction so without further ado my first difference pick Jalen Hurt of the Philadelphia Eagles DraftKings salary 7,600 Jalen Hurt has got off to a decent season early this season he's a dual threat quarterback can pass and run the football definitely makes a decent option this Philadelphia Washington Washington game is projected to be one of the highest scoring games on the slate and for those new to DFS football or any sport, the games that's projected with high scores or projected high totals are normally those games that's going to see a lot of DFS, DFS points scored. So you try to grab a player from either side of the football or either team to try to help your lineups out. You utilize the over-under stats and stuff of that nature to uh, grab the projected total. But back to Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is a player that can has found his way to be able to pass the football and we'll get into the end zone via his feet. So he definitely makes a good option against some um, commanders. My next DFS pick, we're going to say in that same game, I'm going to suggest Miles Sanders of the Eagles. DraftKings side 5,500. Sanders is a player like Sanders definitely because he's a player that's capable of catching passes out of the backfield. I'm always looking to fill most of my positions or most of the roster spots where players can do a number of things. And Sanders has shown that he gets targeted in the pass game. He will have um, good touches in the run game, of course, but I definitely like him regarding the pass game. And when you consider that um, the commanders are 26 in the league, allow fantasy points to the running back position. I think he's he's going to be helpful to your DraftKings lineups this week. Moving right along. My next DFS pick, Naheem Hines of the Colts. DraftKings have 5,000. Hines is another running back that catches the football out of the backfield. The only thing you'll more than likely have to worry about Hines, Hines is a backup and he may not see as many touches on the ground, but he sees enough passing work, I think, to justify being on your roster. Um, if he does not get those targets, then of course he's not a viable pick, but he is, it has shown that he, he gets targets in the pass game and I expect him to get past, um, some targets against, uh, Kansas city and Kansas city is 28th in the league and allow fancy points to the running back position. So definitely Hines should make a decent option. My next difference pick, I'm going to go back to that, uh, Washington, Philly game, and I'm going to suggest A.J. Brown of the Eagles, DraftKings, 7300. A.J. Brown is a primary target for Hurts. Definitely um, more like it's going to be a very popular stack because of the high-scoring game. As mentioned, when um, the high-scoring games um, occur, you're going to try to grab those players. A.J. Brown should be responsible for some of that production if there's going to be a high-scoring game. He gets targeted by um, Hurts, as mentioned, and he's a definitely one of the better receivers in the league. So, and against Washington, Washington is 29th in the league and allowing fantasy points to the wide receiver position. Again, the game's high scoring should be a decent option if you chose to select uh, Brown for your lineups. My next difference pick, St. Brown of the Detroit Lions, DraftKings Saturday, 7,200. St. Brown is another player that's uh, off to a solid season for the Lions. Um, Jerry Goff is a player that um, looks for Brown. He's had a big week last week, and I expect that to carry over. This Detroit-Minnesota game is another projected high-scoring game. Brown should be one of those players, sees a lot of production, and causes this game to be a high-scoring game. He scored in this early season, he's scoring three touchdowns. And as mentioned, he, he just gets targeted. Should be an interesting game for him against um, Minnesota. My next DFS pick, Pittman Jr. of the Colts, DraftKings salary 6,900. Pittman Jr. was out last week, but he gets a Kansas City squad who's 23rd in the league and allowed fantasy points to the wide receiver position. Matt Ryan shows that he he will target Pittman Jr. More than likely, 
they're going to probably play from behind. Pittman Jr. should see a lot of work in the past game. Definitely a lot of talk. It should come his way. Now, as mentioned, he was out last week. So, definitely should bounce back and get into the mix of things and really be able to help your lineups out. And my last DFS pick, Logan Thomas of the Washington Commanders. DraftKings had 3,500. I like Thomas because he sees targets in the past game. His last couple games, he's been around about five to six targets. Um, last week, he caught a touchdown. It just shows you that um, Carson Wentz looks for him. Definitely, I think, makes a decent option. That 3500 DraftKings salary, if he can play solid football as he did last week, should be able to help your lineup sell. Definitely, think, again, a good option because of the projected high-scoring game for the Philly and Washington game. I hope everybody's following me on uh, Instagram, and um, I'm going to be putting out another short. So there's going to be a couple of lineups that you can check out for for this week. I hope everybody found this information helpful. These are my DraftKings NFL DFS picks week three for the 2022 season. Please like the video. Subscribe to the Sporty Mouth channel. Take care. For anyone looking to save time building their lineups, you might want to try Draft Dashboard. As you can see on the screen, you get a 30-day trial to uh, play around with Draft Dashboard, see how you like it. Definitely a, a decent option if you're looking to save time and if you build a lot of various lineups. And if you're looking to utilize Draft Dashboard for your lineups, there will be a link in the video description for you to check it out. Take care.